In a time of t seconds, a particle moves a distance of s meters from its starting point, where s equals 4 t squared plus 3. So find the average velocity between t equals 1 and t equals 1 plus h and simplify. So my average velocity from 1 to 1 plus h, again, is just the rate of change between these, this point, these two x values with this function. So the numerator is going to be s of 1 plus h minus s of 1 all over 1 plus h minus 1. Now um, I'm going to do some work over here on the side. Let's call it the scratch work. So let's find s of 1 plus h. That's going to be 4 times 1 plus h squared plus 3. 4 times 1 plus 2h plus h squared plus 3. And if you don't know how this comes about, just go somewhere else and do 1 plus h times 1 plus h and FOIL it. Continuing, this is 4 plus 8h plus 4h squared plus 3. S of 1 is equal to 4 times 1 squared plus 3, which equals 7. Now I think I can simplify this guy a little bit more by adding the 4 and the 3. I can do that over here. So s of 1 plus h is going to be 7 plus 8h plus 4h squared minus 7 all divided by, make that look a little better, all divided by h because the ones here will cancel. So what do I have left here? These 7 cancels with this 7 and I'm left with 8h plus 4h squared divided by h. And uh, simplifying more, I'm going to factor out an h. 8 plus 4h divided by h. So that leaves me with 8 plus 4h as that result. Now, oops, I ran out of room there. There you go, 8 plus 4h because these guys cancel. Now down at the bottom it says, I'm going to leave that right there, that the average value between 1 and 1 plus h is 8 plus 4h, because it says here, use your answer to part a to estimate the instantaneous velocity of the particle at time t equal 1. So instantaneous velocity is the average rate of change between two points that are really close together. So if I let h be really small, then I have my average velocity is going to be 1 and 1.001, where this is sufficiently close enough to write it as instantaneous velocity at t equal 1, or approximately equal to instantaneous velocity at t equal 1. So my instantaneous velocity will approximately equal to this guy with h being 0.001. So 8 plus 4 times 0 0.001. And let's see what that turns out to be. 8 plus 4 times 0 0.001. And I get 8.004. So my instantaneous velocity is about 8.004. And what unit of measure would that be? Meters per second.